Unit 13. That's a possibility. Page 86, Exercise 2, Conversation. What happened? Part A. Listen and practice. You asked Beth to be here around 7 o'clock, didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost 8. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? A few minutes later. I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. Page 86, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? Oh, here comes Beth now. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. I had an emergency. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. Well, kind of. It was Sally. Sally? Your dog? What happened? Well, I was just about to leave when she started acting strange. Then she just passed out. Oh, my gosh. I panicked. I thought she had died at first. I had to rush her to the emergency clinic. But is she okay? Oh, I hope she's all right. Yeah, she's going to be fine. The vet said it was some kind of virus. So he gave her an injection, and I had to leave her with him. I'll go by later and pick her up. Oh, but guess what? What? She's going to have puppies. Congratulations. You're going to be a grandmother. <laughs> very funny, Bill. Yeah, Bill, very funny. Page 87, Exercise 3, Pronunciation. Reduction in Past Modals. Part A. Listen and Practice. Notice how have is reduced in these sentences. He must have forgotten the date. She might have had a problem on the road. Page 87, Exercise 3, Part B. Listen and practice. Notice that not is not contracted or reduced in these sentences. He may not have remembered it. She must not have caught her bus. Page 87, Exercise 4, Grammar Focus. Past modals for degrees of certainty. It's almost certain. She must have left already. She must not have turned on her phone. It's not possible. She couldn't have been at home. It's possible. She may have forgotten the time. She might have forgotten the time. She may not have remembered the time. She might not have remembered the time. Her car could have broken down. Page 87, Exercise 5, Listening. Jumping to Conclusions. Part B. Listen to the explanations for the two events in Part A and take notes. What did happen? How similar were your explanations? 1. I was on a cruise and saw something funny one morning. I was walking on the deck and I saw three people all bent over the railing. I thought maybe they were seasick or someone had an accident or something, so I went over to see if I could help. It turns out they were all bent over the railing because they were looking at some dolphins that were following the cruise ship. There were about eight of them, and they followed us for a while. It was an amazing thing to see. 2. I'm so embarrassed. I can't imagine what people must have thought when they saw me out in my front yard in my pajamas. See, I had opened my front door to get the morning newspaper, 
but the wind accidentally blew the door shut behind me and the door locked. I couldn't get back in the house. I saw that my bedroom window upstairs was open, so I went into the garage and got a ladder. I was able to climb up the ladder and into the window. I'm afraid some of my neighbors might have seen me. I'll have to explain to them what I was doing the next time I see them. Page 88, Exercise 8, Perspectives. She's driving me crazy. Part A. Listen to three friends talking to one another on the phone. Check the response you think is best for each person's problem. Hi, Molly. Ramona's mad because she thinks I didn't ask her to go hiking with us. I sent her four emails, but she never responded. Well, you know Ramona never answers emails. You should have called her on the phone. Oh, forget it. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. If Ramona can't bother to check her email, she'll just miss out on things. Ramona, hi. I just got off the phone with Michi. She asked me for advice, but she never stops talking long enough to listen. You could have been more understanding. Michi must have been upset and just needed to talk. I would have asked Michi to be quiet for a minute. How can you give her advice if she doesn't give you a chance to talk? Michi, I can't believe that Molly still has my notes. I needed them for a test today. She never returns things. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes this long. But I wouldn't have lent them to her the week before a test. Oh, Molly may have just forgotten about them. I would have just borrowed someone else's notes. Page 89, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus. Past Modals for Judgments and Suggestions. Judging Past Actions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Suggesting alternative past actions. You could have been more understanding. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Page 90, Exercise 11, Listening. What should they have done? Part A. Listen to descriptions of three situations. What would have been the best thing to do in each situation? Check the best suggestion. 1. Oh, no! Arr! Dennis accidentally locked his keys in his car when he went shopping. When he returned to his car, he couldn't get in so he decided to try to force the door open. He damaged the door, and it cost him $200 to get it repaired. Two. You always no, no, Hello, police. This is an emergency. Diana heard the sound of people fighting in the apartment next door. Then she heard a loud scream. She called the police, but when they arrived, it turned out the neighbor's kids were watching television and had the sound turned up very loud. Three. Hey, what's this? Wow, a gold ring! Simon found a gold ring on a busy sidewalk. It looked like an expensive ring. He wanted to give it back to the owner, but he thought the person who lost it might return to look for it. So he left the ring on the sidewalk.